My name is Irving Miller. I was born December 1, 1923, so that makes me now 87 years old. When we got on the boat the following morning, when we went on deck, there were about 2,000 Japanese on board. I thought we lost the war. These were uh, the Nisai, which were Japanese Americans, and they were uh, going to North Africa with us on that ship. It was interesting. So we were standing at Monte Cassino, and uh, we were withdrawn to Naples, my outfit, and we got on landing craft and made an end run north of Monte Cassino, the place called Anzio Nutunio, and we stayed on the Anzio beachhead for four months, long months, in which we were shelled constantly, and uh, we were bombed constantly, night after night, so it was a day-to-day -day survival. Uh, we, uh, of course, received some casualties. Were you, were you retaliating? Were your guns being used? And of course, we were constantly doing counter, what we call counter-battery fire. So when they would shoot, we would shoot back. You know, it was a great war if they didn't shoot, it, shoot back. It was a great war if they didn't shoot back. <laughs> <laughs> Joke. <laughs> so anyway, um, one day, just to just experience, you know, one of our men was hit in the stomach with shrapnel, unfortunately, and I had to help carry him back maybe three or four miles to the rear to find a first aid station. We carried him on a litter about four miles to the rear. We don't know if he was alive or dead. Now this went on for a long four months, incessantly. We, of course, we were on our way to uh, Alsace at the time, which is northern France, which is right on the Rhine River there. But we were in Bessencombe, and there, there was a division, uh, or parts of the division, that were uh, in Bruyere that were surrounded by the Germans. And uh, they, they were getting terrible casualties. And we were support artillery at the time. And who came in to support them and get them out were the Nisai, the Japanese American soldiers. And uh, the Nisai, who called them Nisai, uh, saved this battalion and got them out, but they suffered terrible casualties. Now, wh while they were surrounded, we, we were shooting in shells, we were, uh, put in food or candy bars into the shells to shoot in shells so the American soldiers that were surrounded could have something to eat. And uh, it was a very cold winter, and uh, it was like sitting in an ice box, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, consequently, I got a case of frostbite, the uh, trench foot, and they sent me back to a hospital. I was taken off the ship. I could have walked off, but they didn't let me walk off, so they had to take me off in a, in a stretcher to make it look good. What was that like coming off the ship? Were there a lot of was there a lot of press there? Oh, I there can't I can't remember that. The wars ended, and here comes the conquering heroes, and you weren't you weren't, you weren't exposed to. Uh, I can't remember. I don't know whether there was a band playing or this or that. 